So one of the biggest questions I get asked <clears throat> when it comes to real estate investing is what is the biggest mistake that I've ever made? Well, I'll be honest with you. I've made a lot of mistakes. I mean, I made tons and tons and tons of mistakes, but I want you to keep in mind mistakes are good because as long as you take the time out to learn from it, you can really capitalize and grow and become really successful. So if I didn't have those setbacks, that's not a bad thing. If I didn't have those setbacks, then I wouldn't have my success. And that's really, really important. A lot of people fear failing, but that's okay. That's part of life. But back to my point, people ask me, you know, <clears throat> what is one of the biggest things that I've learned or what is the biggest mistake I had in real estate? I'll tell you what it is. It's I wish that I had somebody to teach me along the way. I wish I had a mentor or a coach. Um, that would have saved me the four to 14 or 40 year learning curve or whatever it may be, however old you are. But, you know, being able to have guidance and help and support along the way, you know, it's a huge difference, right? So I always had setbacks and you'll always have setbacks, but sometimes I did feel like giving up, right? But um, when you have somebody in your ear that's giving you support and guidance, and not only are they helping you and getting in the right direction and pointing you in the right pathway so they don't, so that you don't make the same mistakes that they did, what's also good is if they're a really good mentor or coach, they're motivating you. And that's a plus because we could always use motivation. But that was one of the biggest mistakes that I made in real estate. When I really capitalized and put it all together, it's simply the fact that um, I wish I had some guidance and some help. Um, unfortunately, um, at a young age, you know, we all get to that point where we think we know it all. And I really thought that it was easy. I didn't I didn't really think that it was that hard or I didn't think it could be that hard. But it wasn't until I actually got into it and started trying to find good tenants and find trying to find good properties and try to figure out what type of loans I needed. All that started to build up. But by that time, I was already in the process. And like I said, if I just would have took the time out to have a mentor to guide me and help me, I would have cut my learning curve drastically. So therefore, I would have gotten to success a lot quicker. And I wouldn't have had to deal with all the pain and stress and anxiety that most people have trying to figure stuff out. So that's really, really important. So that was one of the biggest mistakes I made. How did I capitalize on it? Eventually, I did get a mentor, um, but that was three to four years later down the line. I had already done real estate wrong for so long. Lost a lot of money, lost a lot of time, anxiety, like I said, stressed out. Could have saved myself a whole lot. So hopefully this will help you out in your journey of real estate investing and to get into financial freedom. But I can highly suggest you do not make the same mistake I've made and many, many others. Be sure you get with somebody that can help you and guide you along the way, even if that means you have to pay money, because more than likely you will. But that's not a bad thing. Um, the main thing is you want help and you need guidance. That'll save you a lot and you'll get to success a lot quicker. Hopefully you liked it.